everybody, welcome back to another Nifty JSR video. I had a viewer last night uh, ask me a question on how I protect my uh, attachments on my weapons like my scopes, my torches, my camera, so on and so forth. Um, the easy answer is to buy yourself a protector. Now these you can get from any airsoft site, eBay, uh, Combat Ready Airsoft if you're in the Derbyshire area, Military First, wherever, they're just a couple of places that I've seen them. Um, you can buy them, they're alright but they're not brilliant as you can see from this one. This one got shot out with, I don't know if you can see that, yeah there we go. This got shot with a pistol, a gas blowback uh, twice and it cracked straight away. Now if you're playing a CQB um, type environment game, I wouldn't recommend these at all. I really really would not. They're, they're a bit flimsy. Um, they could be better, so for my solution, I use either 4 or 5mm Perspex. Uh, you can get it off eBay, I'll leave a link down in the description below of the 4mm and the 5mm. It's about £5, if not £6 for an A4 sheet or an A3 sheet like this one is here. And simply all I do is, this is the one that I did, I think this was my third time doing it. I don't know if you can see that clearly enough, um, but... Uh, it does its job for me, it protects it, it's been shot quite a few times and it's not broken yet, it's not been shot through and then I have my torch, this is my torch lens, if I show you there, look right around the edge there you can see where I've replaced the glass with the perspex inside it um, and in my GoPro camera as well, it's not a GoPro, I keep saying GoPro, it's not a GoPro camera but in the in this part here it was glass that comes in these cases I quickly shifted that out I did test shoot one of these before I replaced it and my Glock managed to fire straight through the glass which then potentially could have broke my camera so I tried to avoid that as much as possible all I did was remove these screws pop this cap off take the glass that's on the inside place it on the perspex draw around it with either a sharpie or a pencil or whatever you want to use as long as you can see the mark clearly you'll be absolutely fine then I got my Dremel cut the uh, perspex out of the shape measured it I did it a little bit bigger than what the actual piece is that I took out of my camera or my scope or my torch just so that I can make it a really tight fit without having to use glue or any type of adhesive um, just so that I know it's not going to fall out at any point in time, I made sure it was a really tight fit. Like with this one, there is no glue or adhesive holding that lens in. It's simply just a slightly bit bigger than the outer rim. And then I just forced it in and it stayed in there. It's been shot quite a bit. I don't know if you're going to see. Yeah, there you go. You can see the markings where it's been shot. If I tilt it that way, there's one right there where it's been shot. Um, and again, it's still ticking over. These are all right but you're pretty much just buying this rail mount that comes with it it, it will fit on any 20 millimeter rail um, and all you do is simply take your perspex you get about three um, protector shells in the box just take yours lay it down on your perspex draw around it cut it out with your dremel and then just fit it back onto this and you should be safe to go one of my teammates the dragon he uses his on his rifle and as, as as I know, his ain't been shot out yet. So it says a lot by itself really. If you want to protect your scopes, your cameras, your torches and so on and so forth, I would suggest doing this just for that edit, added security. But, uh, but yeah, but for my red dot sights that I use, this ain't the only one that I use, but it is the one that I mainly use. They come with protector shields like this on so you can fold them. You can flip that down and then you can see straight through it, like so. And it, literally all I did was remove the flap because you're not going to need that on after. You can keep it if you need, if you want to close it up and be able to close it up. By all means do that, but I couldn't do that with mine because I made my perspex a little bit wider than the outer rim. So therefore it expanded it and that made it so this couldn't clip on no more. But that's something I'm willing to sacrifice to not have to buy another scope. Um, and then literally all that does is you, it turns out like this like this one and then you just slide it on 
And there you go. Your scope is protected as much as it can be. Okay, so that's my way of how I protect my scopes and my torches. This one is my torch. If you look there, you can see it again. I think I've already showed it yet, so I'm not going to show it you again. But again, just remove the glass from the inside, measure it up, cut it out, slot it back in, screw it back onto your torch. And it doesn't affect the way the torch works. If I screw this back on now, see if I can get it back on there. There you go. You wouldn't even tell. You would not even tell that you modified your torch to have a protector inside it. That's better than the glass that it come with. You see, so hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if it didn't, let me know. If it did, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. If it helped you out and you think it'll help other airsofters out, please share the video. Um, leave all your comments down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Links to them will be down in the description as well. Um, so yeah, just save yourself some money. Buy yourself some, some Perspex. Create your own uh, protector shields and you should be absolutely fine. This is not a guarantee. I mean, I've shot mine with 500 FPS snipers uh, at about three meters away and they've not gone through. It's not pierced through any of these. Um, so, but that's my opinion. That, that's my evidence that I've managed to cl collect. I do a lot of CQB, so these are going to be absolutely perfect. Outdoors, I don't know. That's something you'll have to try out. If you do try it out and they get shot out or out like that, please let me know. Um, and I'll try and figure out another way of creating protectors that will protect you against pretty much anything that gets thrown at you. Cameras, torches or scopes or whatever else that you may use that you don't want to get shot, damaged or smashed. Um, so on that note, I'm going to end this video and I will see you guys on the next one.